but you guys were making me laugh with this today. Uh, ASTF donated three and said, what happened with you guys in porcelain? Um, I've told this story before. It's not, it's really a non-issue. And uh, I always, I always preface this by saying, look, I think porcelain's a talented guy. I think his videos are great. I think I, I even said when we had a falling out that I really urged people to continue to follow him and, and enjoy his videos because, you know, look, I separate the art from the artist, so I don't have to like you to still enjoy your shit. I mean, Kevin Spacey's a fucking, well, I can't say what Kevin Spacey is because he beat everything, but we all know what Kevin Spacey is, and I still can't not, I can't skip a Kevin Spacey movie. So, um, you know, Porcelain's great. Uh, as a fucking creator and as a funny guy, as a person, not so much. Uh, he was palling around with the, the... There was a time when a lot of the gay shit that's happening to me now, there was already a lot of evidence that it was coming and that I was like... And again, this is like with Pot Awful and all these guys. Um, because Pot Awful, I think, said in a... It, he was talking to Royce and even said in a phone call, Oh, I never liked Mersh. I was going to make fun of him from day one. Like, that was my thing. Um, and there was a time when they were all planning all this gay shit. And they were all, like, kind of talking shit about me. It's like when all those podcasts started nipping at my heels. Remember, like, the uh, unbleached and the, the drunk Kyle, the kid beater... And, you know, Z and Z, like all those weirdos started like fucking with me at the same time. And Porcelain was hanging around with these people and like egging it on and like talking shit. And then I basically just straight up was like, the, literally the falling out happened because one day I was just on the air and I was like, somebody brought him up and I was like, and by the way, I'm not stupid. Like I see a little, I see all you guys making your little gay plans and all your like, I see you guys all palling around. So don't think I'm fucking retarded. And that's oh, literally, I just said that on the show one night in passing, like in two seconds, I just said that and then forgot about it. And then he made like a 15 minute video about me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it like, and then it spiraled. And then Porcelain and Jesse were the ones that got caught like in screenshots, like coaching his listeners on how they can make a Kiwi Farms thread that's like how to format it. And like basically the gist of the screenshots were like, look, these Kiwi Farms guys, they're not just going to take any thread. Like, you know, you got to really trick these idiots into thinking it's their idea, like that kind of stuff. And they were, and I, you know, they got caught doing it and it's like, whatever, it's gay. Um, and then Porcelain's been going around telling everybody that, um, he's been going around telling everybody that I, I, what was it with, uh, I, I mass flagged Owen Benjamin's channel. I, by the way, I'm the reason Owen Benjamin's not on YouTube anymore. It's my fault that I had a, uh, this th we were secretly fucking planning to take down Owen's channel, even though Owen blew his own shit up, and it was just really all of it was very, uh, you know. And I just realized that we kind of befriended these guys a little too quickly, and we realized they're just more of the sort of blood sports kind of like let's get them, like they're just those kind of people. And it's like yeah, whatever. So. Like I said, I don't have anything, like, as far as, from day one, I've always been like, look, watch Porcelain's videos. They're hilarious. Like, he's done great work on a lot of these dudes, but he's also a fucking dick. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much the explanation of it. Um, Let's see. Yeah. Uh, aviation it had nothing to do with Owen's J ranting, right? Yeah. It had nothing to do with a dozen right wing watch articles and the SPLC and the ADL. No, it was me. It was all your powerful Mersh got Owen Benjamin kicked off the internet. It was all, it was me, Austin. It was me all along. <laughs> you imagine that? Like, if you were to believe porcelain, then that basically means, like, it would be like if you were watching Jonathan Greenblatt talking on TV and he just went, <laughs> like Arya Stark and it's me. And I'm like, -ha -ha -ha, I got them all. They all fell for it. Holy shit. Let, wait, we finally caught Jonathan Greenblatt. Let's see who's really behind this. <laughs> yeah, and I wouldn't have got away with it, too, if it wasn't for you meddling kids. <laughs> 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 
So it's been like they've been literally doing this for like two years, where they're like, Mersh does this, and he probably he's, pr- he's probably involved in the housing market collapse, and he's probably part of a Luciferian sex cult. Like it's been nonstop. It, it's again, I was saying earlier, like thinking of a relationship. That's how I think of it. Is like when you think of like. Jesus, I wasted like two years with this woman. That's how I'd feel if I was like part of the Mersh hate train is I would just be going like, Fuck, I wasted hours a day for two years. Like time I could have learned how to become a fucking boat mechanic. Time I could have learned how to fucking, you know, sew or do first aid or like get in shape or like, you know what I mean? Like get a second job. Like all these things you could do to make your life better. And they're like, nah, I'm just going to go home and yell about Mersh to nobody. Good luck, I guess. I mean, you know, they're still trying. I know they're doxing me and shit now too. I mean, okay. <laughs> I don't know what era that, like, I don't know what you think you're dealing with, right? But it, it, that shit doesn't work on me. Because this is how it happens, right? The cops will show up. Do, 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 do. Yeah, hello? Uh, we received a phone call. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let me guess from a privated number that you guys were unable to trace back because it was uh, probably a VOIP phone number and it called from out of state. And uh, they told you that, uh, well, let me guess I'm suicidal and I'm shooting my gun everywhere, right? I'm a fucking madman, right? Is that it? And they'll go, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, no, it's bullshit. Knock on any one of my neighbor's doors. Go ask anybody around here. I'm the quietest, nicest guy. I help everybody. I'm a nice dude. And they'll go, yeah, I know. And literally, we've had this conversation with the cops three times already. They go, yeah, I know. But, you know, we just, we have to follow up on these. And you go, hey, bro, I get it. You're just doing your job. Hey, thank you. for. Hey, remember, I've told you guys. I've always told you guys my move. No, no, no. Hey, thank you. <laughs> All right. Hey, have a great guy. Have a great night, guys. <laughs> you guys want a bottle of water or anything before you hit the road? No? Okay, great, guys. Take care. Dun, 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 dun. That's already happened three times in my life where the cops show up. Oh, they're doing a thing. Yeah, I'm fine. Would you like to take a look around? They come in, take a look around. Oh, well. Yeah. Anyway, it's good talking to you, officer. Have a good one. Yeah, no, of course. Just refer to the case number, bop, bop, bop. This has already happened before. There's a detective that's been looking into this for about a year now. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Take it easy. Yeah, no problem, man. Hey, listen, if you need anything, you want to take my phone number down next time? You know, that way, if I don't answer the door or whatever, I might not be home. That way, you guys can at least call me because these calls will come in again. And they go, oh, yeah. Sure, I'll take your number down. Yeah, that's it. Just give me a call next time. If I'm not home, don't kick in my door. And they're like, ah, we don't do that anyway nowadays. You go, I know, I'm just fucking with you. Literally, I haven't had this conversation before with them. <laughs> they don't care. Uh, <laughs> it's Florida, dude. They're dealing with, like, people who do meth and fuck alligators and shoot people from moving vehicles. So they come here and they're like, you know, whatever. True Wolf says you're entertaining, but very uninteresting. Thank you, but that's the point. Like that's that's good. I like that, dude. My twenties and my th- like my twenties and like half of my thirties, much more than fucking much more uh, interesting than anybody's entire lives are. I got interesting. I got all my interesting in in my life. Now I'm always the guy that's like, yeah, let's go somewhere quiet. Let's go have drinks somewhere quiet. Do we want to take the car? No, nah, let's not risk it. Let's just pay for the Uber. And I, I what was it? With, uh, I, I, I mass flagged Owen Benjamin's channel. I, by the way, I'm the reason Owen Benjamin's not on YouTube anymore.